from the moment of manufacturing and, and handling at the at the at the element at the I guess the food item in the bottles, and that's that's where it can happen. But more so, which one of the ingredients would more than likely be the cause of the contamination? Um, I can't say. I mean, for, for that, they would need to do some more testing, but uh, I would believe that it would be from the nuts. So um, that, that's, that, th those are areas that would need more testing. I mean, we've been seeing an increase of, of gastrointestinal cases since February. So we're seeing that these, during this time is when we'd usually see an increase at uh, GE. We call them GE, gastrointestinal, um, gastroenteritis, sorry. So when these kind of things happen, we're seeing it in, in individuals who are under five and over five. So it's in the general population. Again, we, we, can, uh, we can believe that it is part of, of uh, the, the relaxation uh, 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 the restrictions. I mean, there is an increased movement. Individuals are moving around back to work, back to school. Uh, there is more consumption of uh, uh, food uh, from vendors. So all of this is a possibility. Uh, we are heightening that, that response in surveillance when we're trying to see what, what those GE cases are in its entirety. So we're getting an understanding that it's not only salmonella, but we're seeing other pathogens that might be out there. Uh, again, so we, we make a call to the public that this is something that can be avoided. It can be prevented. I mean, the correct hand washing, the adequate cooking of the food, that, that those are key elements to, to actually curve that situation. And similarly with salmonella, that is something that is a food, it is a foodborne illness and it can be avoided as well. So these are instances that you can take to, to curb that situation.